hand-me-down uniforms, the overhead projector, the clapping along, a tired old piano in the corner. Well, Assembly Bangers is a new show coming to Norwich and Lowestoft this spring that brings that nostalgia flooding back. We're very excited about it. And it's all thanks to social media sensation James Partridge. He's going to be taking you back in time with this sing-along workshop classics that you remember without even realising. Good morning, James. Good morning. What a great uh, selection of songs that uh, your listeners sent in. I mean, it's great, isn't it? I really wasn't expecting Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones, but, you know, anything goes, clearly. When I said good morning, James, I was hoping you were going to go, good morning, Ed, good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, it's lovely to have you along, and it's brilliant. Um, I've seen the stuff online. you got your piano, uh, and it, it's amazing. You just get this wave of nostalgia wash over you, especially songs that we must have sung so many times at school, and then you get to high school school and you don't sing it again and you don't remember it for 30 odd years do you absolutely yeah and actually i, I do start the shows with good evening everybody so i get yes. everyone saying that Excellent. Um, but, but uh, luckily you don't have to sit cross-legged on the floor for the, <laughs> the actual, um, but uh, yeah yeah as you say i haven't you know i a lot of these songs a lot of those old school songs uh we sang over and over again up to the age of about i don't know 11 or mm. maybe even 12 but then after that you know singing's not very cool when you're a teenager especially in school um and uh, then you kind of put them in some kind of <laughs> locked uh, room in the back of your brain somewhere and then basically i've kind of rediscovered these songs and i've been putting out videos online and decided to kind of make a show out of it oh absolutely it, it was asking for it and i'm surprised someone has else hasn't done it i'm so glad you've done it james because there's a whole generation of anybody born from sort of yeah mid late 70s right through to the late 90s as you said you get to year six at sort of age 11 age 12 and it isn't cool anymore but then you get to our age and you sort of start thinking actually it's really lovely to remember when did this all sort of begin for you i mean was it because you had such brilliant days at school and you know you were the monitor who was allowed to to set up the overhead projector you know i i actually never got to be the ohp monitor and to this day it still haunts me i wake up in the middle of the night you know (laughs) (laughs) and um but uh yeah so uh but we also didn't get to sing rolling stones in assembly um which i was very disappointed by um but uh so this all this all kind of started when uh, during during lockdown, I'm, I am a, a singing teacher and I teach at primary school, so it's not it's not kind of totally random. And um, so I do actually still teach a lot of these songs, like um, maybe maybe not some of the more traditional ones, mm. but um, I was teaching a lot of these songs. And then I kind of uh, basically one of my friends was getting married, and we were kind of reminiscing on the songs we used to sing at school together. And and I was playing piano for his wedding ceremony. And we were, mm. we, we decided on things like One More Step Along the World I Go <gasps> and uh, yes. and uh, Shine Jesus Shine and uh, Give Me Oil in My Lamp. And so we, we managed to get sneak a few of those in. That's amazing. And, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't it be funny if there was like a top 10 of the assembly assembly songs? And I, I put out a video on, on TikTok and, uh, and it got a lot of traction and people were sharing it and saying what songs they remembered and things like that. Um, and uh, I, then I started doing live streams on on TikTok, you know, a few times a week during the lockdown. And, and when it when we got out of lockdown, I kind of thought, oh, that was a shame. I quite enjoyed doing that. And so I did a kind of a one off show in in London for about fifty people. And then uh, people said, oh, you must you know, must do this, uh, take it around the country and do it in little other venues and things like that. So that's what I did. And just I've been uh, contacting venues and and uh, and basically sending emails saying. Oh, are you up for a bit of a, a school assembly sing along? And a lot of them are just pressing delete, I think. But uh, luckily, uh, Norwich is up for it, so that's great. Too right, uh, and I think those who are deleting them, they're fools because they are missing out on something. And and it's just proof. I mean, the texts that are coming in, the messages that are coming in this morning, with all sorts of of songs. I mean, as I said, we had uh, we had Paint It Black, but we also had the classic. The one man went went to mow. Uh, that was another classic. I remember that one. Um, lots of them coming in, and they're fools if they're deleting them now this UK's tour starts February the 3rd doesn't it you're in Norwich at the garage on the 7th of March you're then in Stowmarket on the 8th of March and then Lowestoft at the Seagull Theatre on the 9th of March now I understand James you've got your piano with you is that right I do there we go Hope you can lovely hear it. could could you do a, a little melody or a little mix or could you do one or two for us this morning just to give us a sense of what we can expect from your tour would that be all right James 
Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll kick it off with a bit of Give Me Oil on My Lamp. This yes. is a, quite a classic. So it goes like this. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. This is the chorus. Okay. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Brilliant. Oh, that, and the memories come flooding back. And may I say, you've got a great voice as well, a great singing voice. So that's good. It isn't just you. the fact that you can play the piano. You can actually sing. And I know you do this. You said you're a teacher, you're a music teacher. You do this at school. What are primary... Is it primary that you're teaching at? Yeah, yeah. So what are, so prim- I, what are schools doing now then? I mean, do they still sing in assemblies? There's a bit of a mix. Um, so I, I actually teach at a few different schools. So I go in, do singing lessons, do music lessons and things like that. So um, I kind of, I'm like a visiting teacher at different schools. And it's interesting to see how it changes at different schools. So some of them, some of the schools actually still sing some of these uh, classic songs and like the kind of traditional hymns and things like that. But um, some of them, it's more diverse. Uh, so one of the schools I teach at, they do a lot of pop songs in assembly. Um okay. And uh, if you've never seen uh, a hall of hundreds of children nodding along to Billy Eilish, bad guy, um, <laughs> it's a sight to see. It's it's slightly terrifying, I have to say. That is um, slightly disturbed, isn't it? I like it. It's a bit it's a bit dark. I mean, it's the modern version of Paint It Black by Rolling Stones that we keep going on about. And um, I mean, the live tour itself, though. I mean, it must just be amazing to see something like this. That you've you've just started off as you know a little thing that has just grown to this, and then you're out on the stage. And I can only imagine something like this works really well on the stage, actually. Yeah, so I I even did a a Christmas version of the show uh, in November and December and and kind of switched up the songs and obviously did Christmas theme songs and like number one, you know, Christmas number ones and things like that. But the main thing that I've kind of found, which has been so kind of heartwarming is um, people are coming along and obviously it's kind of unlocking something in their brain from their childhood and everyone's just been so kind of positive and quite a few people have actually come on their own or and then kind of met other people or they've come as a big group. Maybe it's like a staff night out from school or something, or it's, um, you know, I've had people coming for birthdays and things, but just the kind of the level of positivity mm. and joy that I've seen, it's just been so great. Oh, well done you. Could we have one more please, James? Would that be all right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, okay. I'll do this one. So this is, um, he's got the whole world in his hands. So oh, good there's choice. lots of <laughs> I'll just, I, it's got quite a lot of verses, so I'll only do a few. Uh, but uh, okay, here we go. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in. And maybe I'll do everyone in Norfolk. He's got everyone in Norfolk in his hands. He's got everyone in Norfolk in his hands. He's got everyone in Norfolk in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Woo! Okay. Fantastic, and thank you for a bit of Norfolk in there as well. You, you oh, yeah. star James, you've absolutely hit on something here. It's no wonder it's taken off online, and I wish you all the best. Break a leg for the tour. Uh, coming to Norwich the then. There. Yes, yeah. I mean, honestly, if you'd have seen the reaction of the Radio Norfolk office this morning, and we're quite a lot of us now are of a sort of similar age, sort of maximum 10 years between most of us. And um, and you just, as you said, the, the memories come flooding back, and it's a it's a sort of a joint event that you sort of shared experience that you get with this so UK tour starts February the 3rd with James Partridge at the garage in Norwich on the 7th of March the Regal in Stowmarket on the 8th of March and then the Seagull Theatre in Lowestoft the 9th of March assembly bangers thank you for taking me back to Tofford Middle School near Deerham circa 1990 um, that is absolutely fabulous James you're a star thank you Thanks so much. Have a great day. Good stuff. There you go. Wasn't James brilliant? And the fact that he's got his piano with him as well. I want more. I think we should have a singer sing sing along by a piano on this show. I think it's great. Uh, loads of your messages coming in on this one as well. Uh, Chris has just been in touch on 08000 says, Ed, the best one was Morning Has Broken by Cat Stevens with our teacher, Mr. Priest. Ah, Mr. Priest. And morning has broken. Yeah, morning has broken. It was a nice way to start the school, wasn't it? 